Hey guys, it's Danny. Well, great news! A mini orchid haul. Surprise! And of course, you're gonna see the Nelly Eiler, but let's not go into that just yet. So yeah, I managed to find some orchids that are not Phalaenopsis, finally! And I found them at IKEA, so there's hope that I will find intergenerics and dendrobiums and all sorts of other orchids. Anyway, I'm really happy. I just purchased three. They're not in the best shape, but let's take a closer look at them. So the first one we're gonna take a look at is a Dendrobium phalaenopsis type. It has nothing to do with phalaenopsis, however, we call it like that because of the shape of the blooms. Now, I didn't manage to identify it just yet. I didn't even search because I didn't have time, but once I get an ID, if I ever get an ID for this one, I'll make a separate video for it. Funny thing, this orchid is slightly, slightly fragrant and it smells like detergent, mildly. But it's good, I don't dislike it. It's way better than manure, isn't it? Now, the cane is pretty plump, looks quite okay. Problem is, it hasn't been watered in a lot of time. It's quite common in stores. They don't really like to water their orchids, do they? Or if they water them, they do it too excessively. But overall, I am pretty happy with this purchase. There were some other types there as well. It was one that was more towards the blue side, which was wonderful. I really wanted to buy it. However, it didn't look that great and the pseudobulbs were kind of yellow and I was afraid that they were already depleted or rotten. I just didn't want to bother with that. But I do like this one. It's a, uh, let's say, warmer purple warmer indigo the other one was a lighter color shaded towards the blue but it wasn't a blue orchid don't worry it's just it just looked that way there aren't really any true blue orchids most of them tend to go towards the purple side but i think i had a good deal with this one it looks pretty good i love the flowers and i don't have too many dendrobium phalaenopsis in my collection and i have a feeling you guys like them i like them too i just don't find too much variety and i prefer to buy something else when i see them but let me know in a comment below if you do like dendrobium phalaenopsis and you think i should buy more and learn about them and make tutorials on them Next up, yes, it's the Nelly Eiler, Ooh, finally, and it's a pretty healthy one, kind of. Well, I say pretty healthy because you might notice the flower here on the top has some marks. Yes, it has some snails or some slugs. The orchid itself does not look all that bad, but again, it was a bit dehydrated, not watered, and I'm afraid I will find some snails there. So I will repot them very, very fast. I will check them for all sorts of bugs. I didn't see anything at a first look. I did look with the microscope. Nothing yet, but I'll check them more thoroughly. But there you go, the iconic orchid that appears in my thumbnail and in my banner. And actually, you guys, I decided, I told you this before, it is my favorite orchid, and that's that. For whatever reason, I like it. Of course, there are better orchids maybe out there. It's just a thing. I have a crush on this one, and that's how it's gonna remain. And this one will go into the mini greenhouse that I made. I will try to make this one flourish. If you missed the video with the mini greenhouse and how I'm trying to keep Miltoniopsis and Nelly Eilers healthy, you can check out the info card right here. I'll post it on the screen and you can learn more. We shall see how that goes. And lastly, we have a Miltoniopsis. Now, I was wary of buying this one. She doesn't look all that great. I also don't have any blooms to show you, but judging by the spent flower I see here, she is a pink one. If I imagine it really thoroughly, it's a pink one. But anyway, I hope you can see it does not look all that fantastic. We have a dead flower spike here, also a lot of dead leaves. At first I thought it was rotting, but I inspected it further. It's not rotting. Usually Miltoniopsis have this tendency to go all crazy if they don't have humidity or moisture and how these orchids were not watered, she suffered. So she's not rotted, she's just suffering, see? Kind of shriveled. But I'll try to correct this and if I see she struggles, I will have to cut the flower spikes, which sucks, but <laughs> I have to. I really want to keep this one alive because overall she is quite big. I've seen Miltoniopsis with fewer pseudobulbs or tinier pseudobulbs than this, so maybe we'll be lucky. Now, funny story with these orchids. I first purchased this guy and I saw the Miltoniopsis in the store and it looked kind of horrible and I didn't want to spend money just to have it die on me, so I just purchased this guy. And in the night time, I slept on it and I felt kind of bad I didn't purchase the Miltonia, so I decided the next day to go after the Miltonia. So I did. And next to the Miltonia, a Nelly Eiler appears. I swear it was not there the day before. So lucky me, it was the right decision, right? It might be a sign, maybe this time they will not die. 
Anyway, time will see. I'm really happy to make some holes once again because I watch your holes and I get so jelly. It's in the good way though, uh, so yeah, but I do miss purchasing stuff. But for now, we're just gonna have to do with whatever IKEA provides and thankfully, it provides more than a sea of Phalaenopsis. The Phalaenopsis are there as well, it's a sea of them. But in between them, you can see other stuff as well. So I'm happy about that. Check your IKEAs because sometimes they bring the same orchids in all the countries where you have an IKEA store. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below regarding Dendrobium phalaenopsis if you're a fan of them, if you'd like to see more videos on them. Subscribe to my channel for daily orchid videos and feel free to leave me a comment down below if you have questions or suggestions for videos. I always check them and I always respond. You can also send me a letter anytime at the address you see on the screen right here and in the description below. If you click on the left side of your screen, you're gonna be directed to orchinature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section and on the right side of your screen you can click to watch another orchid video thank you for joining i'll see you next time bye